All right, let's dive into the fascinating geological processes that led to the formation of the Grand Prismatic Spring. To do that, we need to first understand the hydrothermal system and unique features of the Yellowstone National Park. So Yellowstone sits on top of a volcanic hotspot, which is an area of intense heat that originates from deep within the Earth's mantle. As this heat rises, it melts the rocks above, creating a large underground reservoir of magma. Now, the heat generated from this magma reservoir is what fuels the park's hydrothermal system. The hydrothermal system consists of a complex network of underground water pathways that are heated by the magma below. When this hot water rises to the surface, it creates the incredible geysers, hot springs, and other geothermal features that Yellowstone is famous for, including the Grand Prismatic Spring. Now let's talk about the Grand Prismatic Spring itself. It's the third largest hot spring in the world, measuring about 370 feet in diameter and over 121 feet deep. The spring is formed when water from hydrothermal system seeps through cracks in the Earth's crust, heats up due to the magma below, and then rises back to the surface. This process creates the vibrant pool of steaming water that we see today. But what really sets the Grand Prismatic Spring apart from other hot springs are its stunning colors. The spring has a deep blue center, followed by rings of green, yellow, and orange, creating a mesmerizing rainbow-like effect. In our next section, we'll investigate the role of thermophilic bacteria and microbial mats in creating these vivid colors seen in the Grand Prismatic Spring. So stay tuned to learn more about this natural wonder. Now that we've discussed the geological processes behind the Grand Prismatic Spring, let's delve into the science of its mesmerizing colors. The key to understanding the vivid hues lies in the thermophilic bacteria and microbial mats that inhabit the spring. Thermophilic bacteria are heat-loving microorganisms that thrive in high temperature environments like hot springs. These tiny organisms form dense communities called microbial mats, which are responsible for the striking colors we see in the Grand Prismatic Spring. The microbial mats are made up of different types of pigmented bacteria, and each type has its own unique color. The colors of these bacterial communities are determined by the specific pigments they contain, which help them to capture sunlight and convert it into energy through a process called photosynthesis. In the Grand Prismatic Spring, the deep blue color at the center is due to the water's incredibly high temperature, around 189 degrees Fahrenheit, and the fact that it's too hot for most bacteria to survive. As the water temperature gradually cools towards the edges of the spring, you start to see the vibrant colors of the microbial mats. The orange and yellow colors typically come from bacteria called cyanobacteria, which contain pigments called carotenoids. These pigments help protect the bacteria from harsh sunlight, and give them the characteristic hues. As we move further away from the center, the temperature drops, and we see green colors, which are the result of chlorophyll pigments in other types of bacteria. In the next section, we'll examine the environmental factors that impact the distribution of these pigmented bacteria in the spring, such as temperature gradients and available nutrients. So, stay tuned to learn more about the fascinating interplay between the environment and the microbial life at the Grand Prismatic Spring. Now that we've explored the role of thermophilic bacteria and microbial mats in creating the stunning colors of the Grand Prismatic Spring, let's take a closer look at the environmental factors that influence the distribution of these pigmented bacteria. There are two main factors to consider, temperature gradients and available nutrients. Firstly, temperature gradients play a crucial role in determining which types of bacteria can survive in different zones of the spring. As we mentioned earlier, the center of the spring is too hot for most bacteria, but as the water temperature decreases moving away from the center, various types of thermophilic bacteria can thrive. Each species of bacteria has its own optimum temperature range, so the temperature gradients create distinct zones where specific types of pigmented bacteria can flourish, resulting in the vibrant bands of color. Secondly, 
The availability of nutrients is another important factor influencing the distribution of pigmented bacteria in the spring. The hot water rising to the surface carries dissolved minerals and other nutrients from deep within the Earth's crust. These nutrients provide essential building blocks for the growth and survival of the microbial communities. However, the concentration of nutrients can vary across the spring, leading to variations in the density and composition of the microbial mats. The factors such as water flow, the presence of other microorganisms, and even the weather can impact nutrient availability, ultimately affecting the distribution and vibrancy of the pigmented bacteria. In our next section, we'll explore the ecological significance of the microbial life found in the Grand Prismatic Spring and its potential applications in biotechnology and scientific research. So, stay tuned to learn more about the fascinating world of extremophiles and their potential contributions to our understanding of life on Earth and beyond. Moving forward, let's explore the ecological significance of the microbial life found in the Grand Prismatic Spring and how these fascinating microorganisms might have potential applications in biotechnology and scientific research. The thermophilic bacteria and other extremophiles living in the harsh conditions of the Grand Prismatic Spring are of great interest to scientists because they offer insights into how life can adapt and survive in extreme environments. Studying these microorganisms can help us understand the limits of life on Earth and even provide clues about the potential for life on other planets with similarly challenging conditions. In addition to their ecological significance, these thermophilic bacteria have several potential applications in biotechnology and scientific research. For example, their unique enzymes, called extremozymes, are highly stable and can function efficiently at high temperatures and extreme pH levels. This makes them valuable for various industrial processes, such as biofuel production, food processing, and pharmaceutical manufacturing. Moreover, these extremophiles can also aid in environmental remediation efforts. Some thermophilic bacteria have the ability to break down hazardous waste or toxic compounds, making them potentially useful for cleaning up contaminated sites or preventing pollution. Finally, the study of these heat-loving bacteria can lead to new discoveries in the field of genetics and molecular biology. By examining their DNA and understanding how they've adapted to survive in extreme conditions, Scientists can gain insights into the mechanisms of evolution and the development of life on Earth. In our next and final section, we'll be discussing the history and cultural significance of the Grand Prismatic Spring, including its discovery, conservation efforts, and impact on tourism in Yellowstone National Park. So stay tuned to learn more about this natural wonder and its importance in the grand scheme of things. As we wrap up our exploration of the Grand Prismatic Spring, Let's discuss its history, cultural significance, and impact on tourism in Yellowstone National Park. The Grand Prismatic Spring was first discovered by European explorers in the early 19th century. In 1839, a fur trapper named Osborne Russell came across the spring and described its vibrant colors in his journal. It, later, in 1871, the Geological Survey, led by Ferdinand V Hayden, brought the spring to the attention of a wider audience. Since then, the Grand Prismatic Spring has been a significant attraction in Yellowstone National Park, drawing countless visitors from around the world to marvel at its stunning beauty. Conservation efforts for the Grand Prismatic Spring and its surrounding ecosystem have been crucial in maintaining the integrity of this natural wonder. Yellowstone National Park was established in 1872 as the world's first national park with the primary goal of preserving and protecting its unique geological features, including the Grand Prismatic Spring. Park rangers and scientists work tirelessly to monitor the spring's delicate ecosystem, safeguarding it from threats such as pollution, invasive species, and human interference. The cultural significance of the Grand Prismatic Spring extends beyond its visual appeal. It Native American tribes, such as the Shoshone and Danak, have long revered the spring and other geothermal features in the area for their spiritual and healing properties. Today, the spring continues to inspire artists, photographers, and nature enthusiasts who are captivated by its otherworldly beauty. Finally, the Grand Prismatic Spring has had a significant impact on tourism in Yellowstone National Park. It is one of the park's most popular attractions, drawing millions of visitors each year 
The spring's vibrant colors and unique geology serve as a powerful reminder of the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet, inspiring a sense of awe and wonder in all who witness it. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the fascinating world of the Grand Prismatic Spring. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration and gained a deeper appreciation for this extraordinary natural wonder, as well as the scientific and cultural significance it holds. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to keep exploring the wonders of our incredible planet.